Uh, my name is Vijayeshwar and um, I write on my own personal blog at Vijayeshwar.com. I have a Twitter bit. And you don't really need to take notes if you don't want because everything is downloadable there, including the presentation, the demo, the tutorial that I'm going to give you. My presentation is going to go a little fast because I don't really need to uh, talk much. So let's get dirty with some codes so we can figure out again. Let me show you how it's going to combine into CSS and uh, how it is useful or not. Please go ahead. So uh, I'm trying to uh, you know, figure out if it is possible to become a little bit better CSS motor by using CSS free project. Uh, in its role form, CSS is a very unfortunate thing. I came to a programming role in Byron 2005. I realized that that's why everybody was a very good programmer. We had lots and lots of good programmers, no net programmers, Java programmers, PC programmers, everybody was a good programmer. I was also a good programmer. And it was very hard to find designers. Designers really understand things in white works, which they really know how to do talks. So I decided to make up the facts for myself to uh, uh, design it, right, in Photoshop, which then helps CSS. One thing coming from a programming background was when you look at CSS, it's pretty straightforward. That's why it's called cascading. It cascades from top to the bottom. It goes like this, one by one. There's no logic, no function to go back, nothing like that. You can't even define anything. So it was a very frustrating thing. It's a very frustrating thing. And more frustrating when you're working with all these people and it's zero percent. So things change to get fired up. What this is you write on the top, you forgot and you start writing under the top. So you, you tend to start writing process like text white, text red. Yeah. So it's a very unfortunate thing to write CSS in a very, very raw form. Many people have mastered the part of uh, segregating sections and all. But that's, uh, that's very, that comes from years and years of experience. It's very difficult to get new people that want to work with CSS. So let's start with the code. One of the things that we can take control of CSS and how you can build it to your power is using CSS frequency. Uh, some of the names that comes up are like SAS, LES, Pilot, and there are even a couple of others coming up very recently. But for today's talk, that's discussed on uh, SAS. Because if you know one of them, going to our uh, is pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So some of the resources that you can go to are SAS Lang, LES CSS, and that's the last one is for SAS. Again, you do not need to take any other notes. All this is available to download. There, I, I will come back to the site where you can have the download link, including the reservations in there. It's actually much, much easier than most designers or most HTML and CSS coders think. Uh, first of all, we just need Ruby. That's for Windows. And no Ruby programming at all. This is just for installation. It, it's just helps, right? For Windows, because Mac and Windows already have Ruby more or less installed. And we just install one of them called SAS and install campus, then you're ready to go. So Ruby storage is actually found at rubystore.org for Windows. It's a deployable case or something like that. So you double click on it, install it, go to your command, go to your command line and install both of this and start uh, working on it and get ready to code straight. So for today, let's speak on SAS. Initially, during the early days of SAS, it was in the syntax called .sass. Right now, it's currently .scss, which is a more actively developed and more like CSS. So, any new people coming from the CSS world would be way easier to enter, enter SAS through this syntax. It's pretty much CSS, pretty much. So today, when I say SAS, I'll be referring to most of this. Uh, that's pretty old school, so let's leave it at that. And we'll use something called Canvas, which is a tool, a framework, built on top of SAS to help you write CSS way easier, way faster, way intended. So in free processors, most of the free processors, there are things like variables. So variable is something that many CSS coders have asked long back. I and mean, then we want variables like this. Uh, forget functions, forget uh, control directly, control loops, and anything like that. Variable. At least you could have defined, if you have a theme, at least you could have defined what color of the rows is going to be on top of your CSS, so you can at least refer it there, and when you find the back and tells you, hey, the rows is very red, can you make it a little red? Not red, so red. So you can just change it there, right? You can just change the hex code on top. 
But you wouldn't do anything here without you having to look at each and every code, figure out what was the color of the code. So variable procedures uh, is in uh, pre procedures. Nesting is available now. The good thing about nesting is that if I write one class here and I can continue to write its child classes inside itself. So but in CSS you have to figure out when will you on your own, I write a class here, I have to write another class here, we shall comment using a group commenting system, I might combine them. But here it's as or less, you can continue writing them all inside one code like step, 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 and we said this one. There are mixings, mixings from a programming world is something that's like constantly right once, continue to reuse it, reuse it again. The control directive that is for while, the map function, you can multiply, divide, plus, subtract, or you can even other functions. You can say D section, item. So if I'm using, say, text color, the whole of my text color on the website is going to be black, say 000, or if it's 222. And you need a little lighter for a subheading or maybe a little lighter for a site. You can say lighten by how many percentage. And you can have include and extend. Include and extend are useful for instance equal. If you write a mixing or a function somewhere and you're going to use it anywhere, multiple times, you just say include. That part of the name of the mixing, continue to use it again and again wherever you want. On the sidebar, on the header, footer. Extend actually extends an actual class. So you write a dot class, error fix, blah blah blah, you want to use that? Say extend dot error fix. So, so right you see it's no longer cascading. You don't need to do go one by one. You can jump, you can write functions, you can have equalities with it. Now, uh, when you started, it was a bit complex. That is why most of the designers in uh, initial HTML CSS coders are reluctant to jump into preprocessors. More because of the fact that you have to fire up the mile from online to start the way. So, but these days, uh, a lot of GUI tools, you just install them. And that's it. Let's just say what's the folder. You just keep writing it. It, it just does everything in the background. Tools like Ampus App, it's ten dollars, but it's worth it if you're going to seriously use it. There's a new one coming to install that. It's free. And here's an example. So let's look at it. Uh, can you? Okay, let's assume you can see. So see, here's an example. Lots of variables on top. So I just define and say grid columns twelve, grid color columns sixty pixel of each column and twenty pixels of gutter. Then I wrote a mixing column, grid span. It's like a function. So I, I'm writing it only once. Saying, take a parameter of columns, <coughs> column white and the gutter, and <coughs> set a width to that. So I set a width, and then I start writing the grid here, the actual grid. I said, any span inside that grid, say span one, span two, whatever you're going to use, set a plot left and a margin left of gutter white, it's going to pick up the variable from there. And, and I'm saying, for one, from one through grid column, you're going to pass a parameter into a grid column, which I've already passed by default 12, you can change it here also, let's say 12. So it passes 12, it calculates this, 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 blah, calculate it, and I say include grid. So grid is not fired. As soon as grid fired, go there, calculate this, calculate this, and the generator CSS is something like this. So I didn't write this one, 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 this one, three. Not just the convenience of generating a loop here by defining a few things there. The fact is that if the client comes back tomorrow and say, hey, I don't want 960 pixel, you're doing 960 pixel, let's go do it. Or they say, hey, let's go 800 pixel, mine is only only photos and things like that. I can simply start calculating there, it changes there, and everything will continue to remain as it is. This is a very small example. Okay, before going further, let me ask you a couple of questions here. Can you change the theme of the record? Uh, this actually is pretty short. I'll change the theme when I go back to the Okay, no questions. So, let's go to tutorial. But before that, if you have questions, I'm ready for a quick question before we go there. Uh, if you have already developed uh, your CSS files, download link for everything, you can go only that. Yeah. Is there any correct way to merge it to less or less? Yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's actually very easy like to do. Any CSS file which you've already written can be transported back to less or SAS uh, by using few commands like say 
on uh, SAS and Bird. So you can click on both. Look at your CSS and then click on Bird's back. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is you will not understand very well, because those are the very thing which, which was never existed in CSS. So we never understand. You will not understand, you will not write it simple for you, because that's what you have to write. So if you already have a very big uh, CSS file, I think recently they had 40,000 lines of CSS code and they converted to SAS. It was a hacker news. So it's possible. So uh, we're going to help you to, uh, we're going to have uh, what do you call it? Problem of being constructing less by few. Yes, you will have because those are only two requirements. When you try to merge them, the only best thing you can do is it'll bring a nesting for you because it understands that when you write multiple things, bring, bring a nesting for you. No masons will be done, no portals will be done. Those are the things introduced only new to CSS, so you have to write it. So if you have a humongously big project that's already done in CSS, it will be easier to transition. But it is not 100% uh, done for you. But if it is 100% done, then uh, A1 will simply just do it, right? So you just, just, yeah, so you just uh, <coughs> rewriting. Yeah, it helps in rewrite, so you can refactor very easily and quickly. Uh, yeah, I don't know, remember the article, uh, but they did it. So it was like 40,000 lines of CSS codes, refactor it. Uh, I'll also give you a reason why the refactor is important and why it is easy, even from a file structure. Look at this. My demo, I have said base, blend, blah, 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 and only one file compressor or demo, right? It is a long file in HTML, you include only one CSS. Meaning, most of the time, if you're working with multiple people or even if alone yourself, if you write only one single CSS, it's very difficult to navigate. You would rather have multiple files with multiple functions just like how programmers do. So that you can go back and look at the files and pick any on any of the things individually so that it affects everyone. SAS and this helps you do that because you've considered only one file, maybe demo.scss, but everything you write will be recompiled back into one single CSS, maybe demo.css. This is the only thing which you need to upload on your server. So these are called actually partials. Separate, separate files. I say init, only for initialization. Here I'm only writing about the body and the history. Reset. I can even figure out if I want to use edit uh, Myers reset or the new normalized one. I will just replace this and everything will just reflect back. Variables. I write only the variables here. Now, I started segregating them into footer, header, bases, sidebar. So when it becomes more easier, or if I'm working with five people, two of the guys are working on layout and working on writing modules and fixings, the other guy is actually working on uh, some other thing altogether. So, but the final, when they merge back, merge back a code or merge back a CSS, they, there can be only one guy or you don't even need to, they concentrate only on demo.scss or style.scss, so that compiles it. So this is the one file that does it. So, here, I'm even segregating them, mixings, uh, only for mixings. Functions, I write all the mixins here. So if there's any problem with one of the mixins, I can come back and figure out so quickly that the mixin is here. Grid, if there's a problem with the grid, I'll just go and change here. Sprite, I'll just go and change the sprite. Okay, by the way, anybody, can anyone tell me this layout, what does it remind you? Very recent. Have you heard of Jonathan Sluka? Have you heard of Smacks? Yes, in CSS? That's how the. So I was like, the 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 Space one. No, space one and then go Space one. So, uh, so like one, two, three are we can be born with the value of I. You can't change that to O and E. O and E one two three. Okay, that's strange. Why we can do that? So your U and E born for the reading classes. So the class name and then W and E one two three. Uh, 
when I saw him at the point of view. There should be a way to fix it, but I didn't have the right person over my hat. But anyway, I'm going to bounce so much. Yeah, perhaps they're right, because again, why is it? It will all depend on how you're trying to use it, right? For instance, I can say, say animals. Animals in the zoo. So I can have say, I can keep defining this variable again and again. Or, or maybe one say, say animals. Keep writing span dash eleven. And it will figure out what elephant. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a use case. So uh, I'm sorry I did not say it directly. Look to all the things. Okay, so demonstration is practically done. So uh, let's do some demo. We have lots of time. I really wanted that because uh, a clean slate here, right? So here, I just started typing five wrapper. Let's start putting some wrapper in. Yeah, the background. background white. Oh, I can't do this quickly, yeah, so what I will do is uh, use the one which I was originally writing. Okay. Yeah. Which one you suggest? So that is classic. 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 Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> So I have started writing a wrapper here, right? So uh, for example, let's put something for now and say put something six here. I just started writing something and there was a wrapper. So let's go to Okay, by the way, before I let me just quickly tell you. For you sound project, there are a few things for the configuration file in the uh, compass. So this is the one of the configuration files. So in, in my command line, you can have a GUI code, but in my command line, what I'm saying is compass, watch, and it keep watching my folder. So any changes, it's actually uh, actually compiled in the CSS and reflected in the browser, and I have this live report that we on its own, so don't worry about that, I'll refresh it if nothing is coming up. So I say compass watch, it's, and it's actually looking at the configuration file to watch it. Uh, compass is actually tied up with, very closely related with Ruby projects, so people who does Ruby file a little more easier to integrate with them, but you're also perfectly okay to do a standalone. When I say standalone, HTTP path, the root path which I'm working on, and I can define the CSS directory here where the CSS should be compiled and thrown. I am saying sans dir go into SASS. So it, this also, it's a very cool thing. The thing is, if I start writing this, uh, uh, on my local box, local box I say SAS, but some of my developers want somewhere else. So they can have their own local configuration saying somewhere else. So define once and keep working on it. You can even say image dir. So in, in CSS, when you say, uh, Image your background URL and image, right? So if you change the folder with image, you're kind of like uh, screwed, right? So you have to go back and figure out where did I put my images. Here in SAS, I can simply define a location of the image one time and push, push the image anywhere. So on my, on my development server, I can say IMG is this inside a local local host, but on a production server. I can set, redefine this for a production dot config or something that says HTTP static dot blah 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 which, which may be an Akamai URL, right? So I can even pull from there. I can even interact with JavaScript and phones for using one fist. So that's the config. So let's forget about that. Let's start working straight, in, straight into the. Okay. I don't want to type, so it's just pretty quick, right? So I just set it. Uh, cool. So here, let's go through the code one by one. I'm just defining a small table here, right? So this is the local variable. I'm saying include border radius of five pixel. Include box sizing. Do you know what's box sizing, by the way? We talk, right? So here, let's do very quick. look at this very quickly, and I'll tell you what's happening here. I remove it strings back. What just happened? 
No, not here with There's something called the box model. You've heard of the box model, okay? What is the box model? CSS box model. <coughs> Anybody who has done CSS, at least in the past one year, we have moved on to CSS. Yes, yeah, that was, I, I already had a solution. The problem is, in CSS box model, it's a pure mathematics kind of, you have to make some time, a bit of mathematics here and there. So when you define a box in 960 pixel, box container or a box, if you start editing, editing, it starts blowing out. Right? And I six doesn't have a way to fix it yet. But anyway, so what I need to say is, when you define 960 pixel, it's actually not 960 pixel anymore, the moment you started editing beddings, and borders, border one pixel, two pixel, this keeps on going up. Means your layout is, you have to always do a calculation in your layout before you do anything. So, here we go. Uh, I just say box model, that means it will be exactly what I define. It will always collapse back inside, back and forth. So, here's the beauty, right? Border radius. Well, how do you write border radius in CSS? Dot mouse, dot bracket, everything, you have to get defined again again, right? So here, in SAS, I can simply start including this, only the left radius, and only on the left, only on the right, and the beautiful thing is, I'm writing very short, quick notes here, right? Very quick line, one single line. Let's look at the generated CSS, demo CSS, and let's go for, what was it? Wrapper. Look at that. It writes everything for me. I don't. If you if you now take away my laptop and ask me to write this, and if I will be fired right now, I'm dead because I don't know. Because by the time CSS3 was introduced, I saw all this. I said, "What the hell? I'm not really write. I was even preparing snippets for myself for macros to write this. And Canvas came up, SAS came up, and everything was done for me. So quick. I don't even remember, or I don't even know. Till now, I have no clue how many of the CSS are generated, or how CSS3 are written. But I can write any of the CSS any time you ask me while I'm still using Apple's instance. So, order radius, things like this, becomes way easier for you to write. The first benefit already being that you can uh, list them out in parcels, in footers, headers. The benefit of uh, uh, using SAS, uh, Canvas is already there. Now you can write much cleaner code. Right? Here, I can even change this by saying image URL and the location inside my IMG. So it's my developer said, or oh, we all decide, IMG is bad, it's bad luck, let's use images. I'll just change in the config file instead of IMG to IMG. Images and it will continue to just work. Okay, let's do some. Let's do a color, color edge. Let's do some color edge. Let's forget this for now. Let's try to figure. I can see the difference here in the Okay, let's do black. Let's do full lightning in it. Hope the solid is 
Wow, right? So that's right, like a 50%. Or oh, let's give it a better color. Let's do some plastics. Let's put uh, blue plus green. Let's put that better on the first seven. Blue. Green. Some green, some blue, some red. <laughs> right. So uh, let's say we said blue, right? <coughs> blue. Uh, we said to red. Okay, I'm going to Let's see. Okay. Sorry, So, so you can change colors, addition of colors, with subtract colors. You can define a default color there. If you give it lightning to sub sub errors, you can give lightning or any changes to other uh, add colors. Plus, subtract colors, things like that, color functions, right? Math, you already say it, I need the plus, minus, and plus. So, this is the color to be tried for you. So, Oh look, I'm going to my to five. Let's look at the generated CSS. Sure. Ah, I don't know if I'm any mirror, any meter, right? It's meter here. So I can figure where it's here. It says right, blah blah blah. Wrong number, one for one, then with CSS. So, while writing CSS, you really don't know what you have to figure out where I'm at a minute to set. Here, any wrong CSS that you write, it's going to tell you where it's wrong. Uh, on my data reference case, there was a comment that says, what was writing? I didn't want to touch on that. I might be very on the time, so I'm going to skip most of the thing. So, uh, let's open up Sprite. Let's forget that. Let's forget the very clean thing. Sprite is one of the very complex things that you do in CSS. Actually, you have to figure out where is the location in the pixel, and you have to set x axis, y axis, minus 5, minus 10, whatever, right? Here, if you look at my folder, I have said South Hill and say Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, all separately, huh? nicely done by the design. So I don't even want to worry about combining them into, into and making them right. So I just wrote a code that says import inside the folder called social everything with a .png file and include a include a mix and for all social because that's the name of the folder and my sprites, right? And I say Sprite social. This is going to be a custom class. Extend here. Example of the extend that we just talked about an image replacement dot IR. IR will actually be a class now, right? So it's a social sprite. We're giving you the width of this, the this of this. Now in my HTML, let's write. Not very beautiful. <coughs> These are actually. I mean, look, 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 look at that. Let's say here, look at that. I just say that this is just for the beautification. I said sprite social, which I wrote there, telling make it into 64 pixel by 64 pixel, and social Facebook, social social Google, social LinkedIn, social Twitter. And what happens now? We should look at the CSS now, right? It's, it writes everything, Sprite, Sprite, Facebook, everything for me. 
picks up this picks up this Twitter stumble upon calculated right I didn't even I didn't write that anywhere in my SAS it's already cal calculated it even compiles my images and give me this right I can define this by the way through variable saying let there be one pixel in between go this way that way without me doing anything and you can say right it compiled into this PNG from the images that I just put in without me doing that. So, spriting becomes way, way easier by simply saying, do this. I didn't even write that. And in my HTML file, what I just need to do was this, which I wrote, this picked up from the CSS, uh, from the compost itself. So, it's way easier. I don't have to maintain this. If I can continue in the other in the terms or whatever, whoever's designing it, I'll just tell the designer, please name it according to the social thing. Right now, I'm right? So I'll just continue writing it and just keep dropping it. And my compiler will still keep on compiling in new ones like this. So the actual images like a link in Facebook, just for my reference, the actual one is this, which is slightly back that you see that you just saw. That's pretty much it, and I even cover all the topics that I really want to, which for uh, starting out, it should not be so easy today. That was my plan. Uh, let's do questions. Uh, what's up with grouping uh, uh, of classes and IDs in JSON here? Grouping of IDs and classes, like how do you uh, group classes in Different classes or same class with different classes? Different classes and same classes as same type of classes. Okay. I, okay, I'll leave that to you, but after reading Max, how much uh, can I really suggest you that? Is that you first can divide it into base files. Base files like starting up with external body and uh, functions and mixings in the separate classes. And if you start writing classes, for instance, you find separately for state classes, state classes, message classes. Um, for instance, if you have, you, you might get lots of messages, right? Either messages, notifications. Write them separately in teams of scale like rollovers. Write them nicely separately. Lay out separately for this header. Write what you're going to do together in a file called header so that you know whenever you want to change, you can attack the body straight away in it. If I find one uh, this advantage of using less is uh, when you group classes all together and when you have to change this one, one class, one particular class, it does not work. It affects all the classes. Uh, that's not a disadvantage, it's an advantage, right? Yes, that's the advantage. You know that if you write a function, you would see otherwise. Right. I want that to actually change. I mean, I don't know why that's a disadvantage because I change there, it's going to change everything. But I know what your problem is. Your problem is that I want to change that, but I don't want to change the other one, right? Yeah. Localize your classes or rewrite them or extend them. It's more like how you, yeah, this is what makes it important. So, smaller, any small function, start separating them into mixings, start separating them into uh, small classes that you can extend. So, that way, if you want to change one there, the reason you're changing one is maybe you're going to change everywhere. But if you want to make a local change, change there in the local box. You can override the reasons over here. Question for the back. Uh, let's go. Um, what's it called? Like, uh, how is the performance time down here uh, on the editing? Will it add to the page? Nothing. Nothing. See, free processors have nothing to do with HTTP, nothing to do with your browser. Because the final product, if you look at my HTML, there's no even mention of tags. It's CSS, right? It is already generated on your developer block on my laptop, not on the server. It has nothing to do with it. One more beautiful thing. I'm just going to show you very quickly. Demo CSS. This is the one which is working and generated, right? All those shit stuff, right? We're going production. 
The moment you can go product and you can stop it, that's it. Boom. Compressing it, compiling it. We have been talking, we have been, we have many talks, right? Com compile, compression, CSS, and things like that. Look at that. Already compiled, nicely tight enough for you. Saves about 30%, 40%, even 70%, depending on how you success. I, I didn't do anything. Look at that. Compressed, compiled, release it. So, you can even say, sometimes developers don't even have to do it, right? So, it would be a build process. Whenever you build an SNS that goes to the server, fires this uh, command, and compiles it for you, it goes on there. Right? Any question? Is there a way, is there a way to uh, just try anything, sorry, just try anything with the less, uh, using less? Or is it... No, that's, as, was, that's the reason why I used to SAS, right? No. No, yet. Somewhere where you guys are not that. What? <laughs> yeah, but if you use Compass, uh, so if you use SAS and don't use Compass, uh, I find it very. We use that. Yeah, no, Compass use one of them. Compass is that. So it's not. I can use very well. What? That way that comes to Compass. Yeah, yeah, it's actually a uh, demo for the session then, Compass Move Over it. Uh, it's an active development, so yeah, if you already asked me, I also don't do Spark Energy Compass because I want high control of everything, even uh, controlling the English quality and things like that. We talk about even the AG or the input tax rate. Anyway, how do you get your progress and your status? Oh, another cool thing. I think it's an office. Okay, look at Compass and look at my interface. Okay. Okay. Oh, here. In the main demo file, what am I doing? Am I supporting legacy IE folds? Am I supporting IE six folds? Am I supporting IE eight? Yes. With this small setting, even my inline display. What's the problem with inline display in IE six or IE six? You have to use that aspect, right? So if I say we support IE6, so why not when I start writing uh, mixes and mixing in classes that have that needs inline display so that you can uh, tightly control the box model in IE6. So if I just turn this on, say true, you'll start writing that to me. I so I'm saying experiment. I can even say support, forget support opera. In all the dot modes, dot thing, rounded corners that you see, Opera will be all missed out. I can say implement it, Microsoft, Post, SBC, Sprite, everything. So, like, this is a for Microsoft. Uh, the, the thing with Microsoft, the cool thing with Microsoft is, it's people just need to upgrade. I mean, it's just too much. I don't know, because I don't know. Right, 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 I don't know who writes for that. More questions? Is there any reason for using Nexus support for IE4? Nexus support what? Nexus support for IE4. Yeah, see, by default this says let me support all of IE6, IE7, IE8, IE9, all those like that, right? So I just want to show you. So I brought up this, so it's saying turn it off by default, but let me start supporting from IE8 onwards. I can simply turn them on and start supporting IE7 or IE6. Pinpoint support them for support them all at one go by saying let me support all IE. So I can write safe. So, well, of course, you know, rounded corners and things don't come up, but there are lots of other things which you really need to write all the apps to do, right? So, why are you not supporting IE6? Oh, that's not a discussion for this. Now we're going to do that. Any more questions? If, if uh, mixins or variables, are, like you write them but you don't use them in the final code, will they be uh, uh, included? The most fantastic question of today comes from him. Awesome. You can write as many reasons as you want, but if you don't use them, it's not generated in CSS. You can even write awesome other classes, but if you don't write anything inside the class, it will be omitted. So in final production of your CSS, it is only the one which you go through attributes and uh, properties. So if you don't write, mix it, very good to write, it will be neglected. Awesome, right? So I can keep on writing blah, 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 it will be compiled only that, and I can write all the multiple conditions, all the sorts of variables, all the sorts of nonsense, without having to worry if it comes or not. It's not like a CSF, right? CSF you have to figure out if it's a reason. Any more questions? Yeah, just the data is good at the What? What? 
less, less is equal to less cost of something. Uh, but if you use using that while in development, use the less JavaScript, which is the suggestion we're doing, and on the product you can compile it once. Oh, by the way, so let me introduce you to this guy called the Compass app, right? My mouse is not working. So they have something like this for less. They have something like this. So by the way, this Compass app is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So uh, no excuse for Windows guys for using it. Uh, yeah, less and also I don't remember the name, but if I do, yeah, Corkin, Corkin is there. Corkin is there. Corkin can actually do less, compass. But uh, what do you suggest? Is it uh, more good with uh, Unix system or? Uh, it doesn't matter, right? At the end of the day, which one are you prefer to put in? Like, it's kind of like or something. Yeah, see, at the end of the day, it's what you are comfortable with, right? So, if you are asking that question to a guy who uses a Mac, and I haven't touched Windows since 2005, so... But that's your personal choice. We still need to use Windows, working really okay. And uh, now, it's an old Ruby source world, Compos world, so... Again, it's not a problem. Uh, the only thing with, uh, uh, with development is that unless you are only doing design, which you can continue to do Windows. If you start a different game with your developer, even if you are CSS and JavaScript, yeah. Max and Linux seems to just jail. It simply just works, right? Yeah. It simply just works. But there was. That's all. I just want to follow up on the discussion that was about the mixing. When you say, I think you're mixing up, I have to say, mm -hmm. are you going to do the compiling of the pages or are you going to do the work? That's what I do in the first No, no, no. Big mixing. When you apply a mixing. Yeah. So, unless there is no hack mixing, like this, or only that. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. Unless, another confusing thing is, mixings are also like classes, dot or something. Yeah. So, I have to figure out why. Anyway, so, the question is, when you do hack mixing, why do you want it to do the work of the channel of the mixings? Or do you have to hack? It's not an index condition. It's not an index condition. It's like having a, uh, it's like having a bill, but you don't use it. It is a feature to fill the information unless you make it into a T, county. So in CSF, what Compass and SAP does is making a key for you while the mixes are in like a bill. You can have lots of them, or you can have lots of T back and things like that. But to be usable, you need to use by something called in loop and use it. So it's not a if and else. I'm not asking that. So the compass compass does this combining right here. So compass is combining mixing. And we won't include those mixes. The mixes are hidden in compass library. Mixes are yes, compass compass library. What's the bottom line? What's the bottom line question? What is the question? The question is that we have to write something, some kind of code. Not include the mixes. No, by default, not included. Not included. We use, we call that mixin, we use that mixin tool. But it is compiled, yes. Because if you have compiled that, then it's very pretty clear, right? Very important. More questions? First, what is the folder? Those task guys? Yes. So if we are using, if we are working in the new environment, we, are, we all are using different machines. And we are trying to make, uh, we are working on the same CSS. How we can use? Answer. I already know your questions. So, what he is asking is if you have folders like Bug SAS CAT, which is actually generated by SAS, but we have the campus, is that it's going to, if you are working with him, it's going to clap, and it's going to be it's going to be great, it's going to be great. Ignore or is getting ignored? Ignore them. So it only remains on your dead box. It doesn't does go ahead, it doesn't go ahead, or it doesn't go to me, or it doesn't go to So, get ignore is not a compass value. Get ignore is very good. So, can we have some idea that we should try for what we have? Yes. Change the name of your folder to say social, my spy, your spy, designer spy, whatever. Reflect the same folder name. When you import into a sprite saying, uh, change it in there, right? And then, 
the, the generation of the name of your emails is automatically controlled by Kappa. You don't have to worry. Uh, it says, Panja, 